Hello and welcome back to Bored Scottish Sundays. That was a good start, wasn't it? Today I'm going to make another Scottish dessert. So I've done the shortbread. Now I'm going to be trying. It's called Cranikin. It's like cream and oats and like raspberries all mixed up. We begin with porridge oats, oats, any oats you can grab really. Just going to put the, oh, we've got an extra leg. 75 grams of oats. Um, that was slightly more, but that's fine. You're going to heat these up on the hob for about five minutes until they smell like a nutty smell. That's what it says, so that's what I'm going with. What you want to do is continuously mix them because you don't want them to burn. Stir these a wee bit more, a wee bit more, a wee bit more. Stir the oats a wee bit more, a wee bit more. We go. Stir the oats a wee bit more. <laughs> okay, when your oats are smelling nice and nutty, put them into a bowl to cool. I've got a bowl, you can't see it. I do have a bowl here. There she is. Okay, next we need 250 grams of raspberries. I got the last packs in the shop, I was very happy. Keep some raspberries um, for putting on top. Get a fork and mush them, basically. Like, there shouldn't be any lumps, I don't think. It should look almost like jam, basically. Set them aside as well. Okay, so we'll need 350 mils of double cream. It has to be double, otherwise it won't go thick enough. Measure 350 mils. There. Pour it into a bowl. Oh, it's satisfying to watch. And then you whisk either, preferably with an electric whisk, because otherwise you might be there all day. washing machine sings to us when she's finished. All right, I'm gonna start whisking. So this is almost done. It's starting to like proper firm up. It's like, it takes quite a while. That took me like a good five minutes. Okay, that's not that long. It was maybe like 10 minutes actually. Once it's thickened up, you're gonna add two tablespoons of honey and I don't have any whiskey, but if you have whiskey, add two tablespoons of that as well. And then if you want, you can try it and if you feel like it needs more, you can add more. My arm is actually sore just from trying to whisk. Right, okay, so once you've added the whiskey and the honey, or just the honey if you've not got whiskey, mix it in. Once you've done that, so you're gonna add the oats leave a little bit left over so that you can use it as a topping. And then you're gonna mix it in. Mixy, mixy, mix. Now, they say that once this is all made, you can put them in the fridge and leave them for a bit if you want to make the oats go a little bit softer in the cream. Once that's done and the oats are mixed in, you're gonna get some glasses. You can either use four small glasses or two large ones. Get your raspberry. You're gonna get a layer. I guess like, I don't really know how much. I'm just gonna guess. And then get a spoon for your fruity cream. Squish it down. And press it down, like so. And then we go back to the raspberry. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Not awful. They make, in the pictures, they make it look really neat. Um, <laughs> it doesn't look that neat, but I'm sure it'll taste nice. Right, you add a little sprinkle of oats and a couple of raspberries. And there you have a cranikin. I'm gonna do the other ones now. 
Okay, we're back and now it's time to taste it. So yeah, you can leave them in the fridge and let those go soft if you want, but I'm not patient and I really want to try it. So I'm going to try it. Mmm, that's pretty good. It's a lot of cream, but it's tasty. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a try if you want and let me know what you think of Kranikin and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.